Hello, this is Vanessa Talbot, um, Profile Builder for Coaches and Changemakers who have a big message and a big vision for their work in the world. Um, I thought I'm getting, you know, lots of inquiries and, and people are jumping on board with Facebook Magicians Mastermind, which is all about um, getting your Facebook group through the changes that are coming up but making sure your Facebook group thrives becomes highly engaged and something that you can monetize as well. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about that because we do start this Friday. So we're on our last days for you to be able to join. Um, lighting's not so good in here, I've just noticed, so sorry, but I'm sure that's, um, that doesn't matter too much and the cat's running around in the background as well, opening doors, so it's not a ghost, it is the cat. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about today. And if you have any questions at all about, you know, your Facebook group, um, particularly if you've had all the, you know, any of the changes that you have heard on the grapevine are, that are coming up, uh, we don't have a massive amount of information, but we do know Facebook are rolling some changes for groups. And this is concerning um, some of those group admins who are on the pulse. Um, I'm just really curious to see what's going to happen. Um, the concern, of course, is that because they are now wanting to um, do the similar to what they did to Facebook pages in the sense it's starting to monetize um, and, and have to pay for reach in your group if you are a group admin. So not sure how it's all going to go down, but it is there for us to be aware of. So how are you going to get through any changes that Facebook might throw on you? Exactly the same way as when they threw in the changes and stopped a lot of the reach on the Facebook business pages. You will get through it if your group is highly engaged, if you have a lot of activity going on there and a lot of members participating in your group. That's how you'll get through it. Uh, so if your group is starting to, you know, or if it's faltered or if it's hit a plateau, which many do, um, engagement has gone down and, you know, things are just not happening in the way that you imagined it would when you started your own Facebook group because, you know, you see these big groups with the big names and their groups just fly and they seem to make stacks and stacks of money from them. And if your group isn't doing that in the way that, you imagined it would. Um, and bear in mind that numbers are not an indication of how well a group is growing, going, by the way, either. So be wary of just looking at groups that have massive numbers. Like I've been, you know, really taking notice of groups lately and studying them in the last few months in preparation for this particular mastermind for the people who have joined. And, you know, numbers, you know, I've seen some group now have 100,000 members or 60,000 members or stuff like that. And sure, there's a lot of posts, but there's not a lot of interaction on those posts. And then I've been into smaller groups where like there's 700 people and they're highly, highly engaged, those 700 people in there. So be wary of thinking that numbers alone indicate a, you know, a high-flying group that's doing well for its group creator. That's not always the case. It is not always in the numbers. And you may decide that you don't really want a group that has big numbers and you might be uh, more satisfied with slower growth for your group but focus on getting those that are in your group more engaged in your group. Um, so that's something that we'll look at in the Facebook Magicians Mastermind. So let me get onto this and I'll just tell you what's coming up. So what you can look forward to in that 60 days. So yeah, it's eight weeks, which um, a call, a mastermind call a week. And what we're going to look at is first up in the first two weeks, we're going to set your Facebook group up, basically. Um, if you already have a group, you might think, oh, I don't need those weeks. Yes, you do, because it's taking it back to the foundations of your group. So if your group isn't working as well as you want it to right now, then to start fixing it, it's back to foundations first. 
So that's where we'll head first in the first couple of weeks. And a couple of things that we'll be looking at, of course, is setting the purpose and the intention of your group or revising it. Or if you started a group without a purpose or intention, you were just told to have a Facebook group because it was a good idea, we'll take you back to that level. What do you want to get out of your group? And what do you want your group members to get out of your group? Because that's really, really important as well. Um, you've got to decide what you want and what your group members are going to get out of your group. So set that purpose and the intention. Um, you've got to know who is your group for. So unlike, you know, the orange buy, swap and sell group, it's not for everyone generally. If you are in the field that I'm talking to and you're in my group as a coach, expert, thought leader, change maker, even an author, everyone will not be your market. So you'll go back to defining the exact people that you want in your group because if you've been used to, you know, in the effort to grow your group numbers, and I know this happens, you know, people get stuck at that plateau of around three, 350 or whatever, and in effort to grow their group numbers, they're letting in everyone who asks to join into the group in the hope that it grows. And then find out that they're still not getting more engagement at all because those people are not right for their group. So we're going to go back to that. Who is your group first? And get you to redefine that and really, really tap into thinking about um, who your group's actually for and therefore giving you a, a, um, a foundation of who's going to come into your group because you'll know what your content in your group is going to be about and, and who's going to come and play in there. And I mean actually play. And play is engaging. So you want them to come there. You'll also go to creating an attention-grabbing name. Now, the, the very truth is that there's a lot of groups out there and the names don't do them any favours. So you see group names and the group names are vague, wishy-washy. They're not really telling us um, who the group is for in that name or what we're going to get from it in that name. Um, they've tried to be really stand out and creative with their group name, but what it's done is worked against them because when you could be being really stand out and creative and come up with this woo name, but nobody knows what the hell it's about or what it's for. So we're going to make sure that you have an attention grabbing name that tells potential group members exactly if that group is for them. Because once again, we want to attract the right people into your group and not a whole lot of everybody's and randoms who are going to make up group numbers, but they're not necessarily be contributing members. Um, you'll also, really, really important in those first couple of weeks, we'll also be setting those group guidelines and boundaries. So that's important stuff. So we're going to make sure that you know what the normal group guidelines and boundaries are, but also to come up with your own, you know, because you might have some different ideas than what, say, I use in mine or, you know, someone else's group that you that you follow and that you're in. You might want different guidelines like, than them. So it's about tapping into what you want for your group and what you want your guidelines to be and then putting those boundaries in. So we're going to do that. This is all foundation stuff. Um, another really important aspect that a lot of people miss out, of course, is group description as well, because that's the first thing when when people see, other than the banner, which we'll talk about next, but it's that group description that will tell people whether this is a place for them. So we're going to, and, and some group descriptions, you know, just don't have enough information there. It's one line or something like that. I'll show you how to utilize the group description um, properly and come up with something that is wow for your group. I just touched on it, group banner. So when your group shows up, you know, as a suggested group to the friends of people who are group members in your group, um, when it shows up in that feed, you know, down the right-hand side, one of the first things other than the name of your group that catches people's attention is the image, so the banner and what's on it. So that's really, really important to get a banner that's going to show exactly to the people you want what your group is about. 
Okay, so that's important. Um, there's a lot of group banners that are lacking. And whether you want to be on the group banner or not, that's something that we'll discuss as well um, and help you with that out in this mastermind. Remember, the mastermind is not all about me training you, though I will bring all my successes. I will bring all my fails. I will bring what I've learned and what I'm still continuing to learn. I will bring what some of my friends who have some massive Facebook groups and they monetize them tremendously have um, shared with me over the last few years as well. So there's a lot I'll bring to the party, but remember the other masterminders, they are there to help interact and brainstorm with you on your group. So that's the aim of the game. So that's just some of what we'll be doing in those first couple of weeks it's going to be pretty full on uh, weeks three and four that's when we're going to start looking at actually after you've built the foundations we're going to look at growing your group getting the numbers up if you if that's what you're aiming for group growth i think all of us want group growth it just depends on how fast you want it and what you're prepared to do to get that so we'll be looking at that we'll be looking at an um the secret technique that i used to grow my group, this one that you're in, from zero to 500 in the first week and then to 5,000 relatively quickly too within a within a couple of months. Um, I did strategically start to show things, slow things down after that, um, but I had an aim to get to that 5,000 benchmark. You don't need to, okay? And I now realise that that was not necessary. So we will talk about creating consistent daily growth for your group and all the ways that you can do that. And the other thing I'll be sharing you is, you know, a couple of the techniques I use to get that initial group growth just going through the roof quite quickly. Uh, I'll also share with you uh, techniques that I personally didn't do because they're not aligned with my values, but that I have seen many other group owners use quite successfully. It'll be up to you whether it's something you want to take part in in sense of that or not. It comes down to the way that you are and the way you put yourself out there. We'll also talk about in the second, I mean, the third and fourth weeks, the need to be selective um, and who you should be letting into your group and who you should be uh, not letting into your group and how you can actually tell from looking at those profiles who should come into your group and who shouldn't. So... A fair bit for those other couple of weeks. We'll also be talking about how you can, or I'll be showing you how you can, as your group grows, find the best admins for it. Because the fact is, unless you want to be spending 24-7 on Facebook, as your group grows, you will um, probably not have the time to be there interacting and doing admin tasks all the time. So you possibly, as your group grows in numbers, you will need some admin help. So we will talk about where and how to find the best admins for your group as well. Weeks five and six. Okay, this is all about, okay, we've got some group growth happening. We're also going to now start tackling and looking at how to get that engagement up in your group. You know, some groups out there, and I won't name names, but some of them are absolutely marvellous at group engagement, while others, you know, fall really, really flat. So we're... What you want to aim for is as much as engagement as you possibly can in your group. So we'll be looking at all the ways, and it's not by this group, but we'll be analysing some of those really successful groups as well, um, how they keep that engagement pumping, okay? So we'll be looking at that, making sure that it's engagement on fire for your group as well. Um, we'll also be looking at, you know, as... As the group creator, and I get asked this one a lot, how often do you need to be posting in your group? You know, is it once a week? Is it once a day? Is it two, three, four times a day? Is it 10 times a day? You know, what's that ideal number for you to keep engagement growing in your group um, for you to show up as the leader and lead the way? So we'll be talking about that. And also what's most importantly by this stage as well, once you've got the techniques for group growth uh, done and that's happening for you, then you've got to bring in the techniques for making sure it's highly engaged or there's engagement happening. The other thing you've got to bear in mind is setting yourself up as 
really the, the the expert because our next few weeks, the final few weeks, are about how to start monetizing your group. Okay, and I always say sooner rather than later um, for monetizing your group. To actually monetize it, you've actually got to establish a leadership position within your group in some manner. And it's got to suit your audience, of course, as well. So we will very much be tackling with you how to establish yourself as the, the one who gives you know expert uh, advice opinion has the value that your group members want to come to as well so that's another thing we'll be looking at making sure that you are setting yourself up in the very early days rather than later days to actually monetize your group now the good news is that from all that we've heard going around the traps and nothing is guaranteed in this land but from just what we've been heard Rumor was, um, Facebook are going to be bringing in a few things into your group, and these are very exciting. I'd say some of the changes they're bringing are not so exciting, but some of the changes are very exciting. They will enable you to actually monetize your group easily. Um, but we want you to monetize anyway, with or without Facebook changes as well. So. That's what we'll be looking at, how um, how to build your list from your group because what happens tomorrow if Facebook plummets down and just disappears altogether? You know, if you've built a, a group of 5,000 people, there's 5,000 possible leads that have disappeared and gone. So I'm going to show you how to get those leads off Facebook group and into your own database, okay? So you've got them in both places and not just one. I think one of the biggest mistakes most group owners do is they do not get those leads from Facebook in their group into their own private database as well. Um, so we will be discussing ways to do that. Uh, we'll also be discussing and I'll be showing you ways to use your group to be able to create wonderful joint ventures and partnerships with other influencers. So, you know, your group is a magnet. If it is a highly engaged and thriving group, it is a magnet to other influencers within your industry. So I'll be sharing with you how you can connect with those influencers, how to look um, at the right or look for the right offers that will come through to you once you have a group that is on the radar of many of the other influencers. What are you going to look for in those messages that are going to come through on Facebook, the PMs, making offers and, um, you know, just things that they would like you to partake in with them. You don't have to say yes to all of them, and it can be tempting to say yes, but I'll show you what to look for, what you would say no through, what's going to work well best for you, and how you can tap into what's going to work best for you as well. So how to connect with the other influencers, that's going to be another big one, and using your group to um, attract the influencers that are then going to give you access to their audience as well. So I think that's really important and another area that a lot of group owners do not shine at. So this last bit, you know, about monetizing it, group owners think, oh, you know, I'll just make sure that I put my offers out and then I've got a pool of clients there and they'll, you know, they'll become clients. Yet you can think much bigger than that with your group. Um, I never see my group as a pool of Clients. I actually see my group as a radar for all the amazing opportunities that are brought to me because I am on the, the, the radar then of other influencers who want to connect with me. And oh man, have I connected with some amazing people who have given me some wonderful opportunities. So that's how I kind of see my group and the purpose was it. But that was the purpose I set from the very beginning as well. That's how it's turned out. Um, but something for you to think about as well and something I will help you with in that area as well. And, of course, we'll all but also be looking at how you can create your products, your programs and your services and introduce them to your group. And, again, a lot of people have been doing things like saying, it's what I did, and I think it's totally wrong now in hindsight, um, 
I'll, I'll wait till I get to 5,000 members and then I'll launch something and I'll all buy it. Um, it doesn't work that way. You are better off starting to educate your group members from the very beginning to purchase uh, from you, to see the value in your products and services and see the value in you. So that's what you want to aim for, as I said, sooner and later. So we will be looking at that and how you can set that up and do that. So we begin this Friday. So for those of you that are sitting on the fence, um, trying to decide whether you want to jump in on this, um, it is a thousand dollars investment. Um, that's Australian dollars. So for you in the US, if you're listening, and we do have quite a few US people that have joined this, um, which is fantastic. It's going to be quite international. Um, but we will be meeting once a week and um, as our little mastermind group. Getting those Facebook groups, your Facebook group, thriving, engaged, and getting it to the position where you can monetize it easily, but also use it to create opportunities for you um, elsewhere, outside of your group. So we are not looking at just tunnel vision group. We are looking at a much wider slide. So I said it's $1,000. Um, if you pay in one installment, you do get $100 off. So that makes it $900. But we do have um, installment plans available as well for you. So if you've been thinking about this and you have any questions at all that you want to hit me with, then do so, do so, do so, please. And I will answer them for you. I will put also. Um, the link where you can jump onto this mastermind. Think about it, please, please, please. You know, a lot of people at this moment, I think, are a bit hesitant about diving into things. It seems to be an air of this at the moment. But, you know, when you think about how much money can be made from your group in one launch, okay, so if you have a product that's $500, you know, and you have 5,000 group members, for example, and you sell... 20 of those $500 places, you know, in one month, so in a little one month launch, that's more well and truly more than paid for the investment in this mastermind. And once you know how to do it and what you're doing, the sky is your absolute oyster in terms of bringing through abundance um, and financial reward through your group without manipulating your people. Of course, that is not what we are about. Um, I know some group owners who have made $40,000 launches, 100K months, all from their groups alone. So for a small investment, if you do this right, what you can actually learn and put into action is going to reap you the rewards tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold, and obviously a lot, lot more if you get this formula right. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sh show you everything that I know, everything that I've learned, my fails. I will be very open about my fails. I'll be very open about my successes. I'll also be very open about what I have actually learned in private conversations with other big name group owners as well. I will share all that with you and we will get your group up, thriving, engaged and just as importantly, uh, giving you some financial reward for all the time and the effort that you put into your group because I know group owners love, like I do, to play in our group and interact with our group members. So we want to make sure that that time um, you're actually being um, supplied abundantly from the universe for the intention and the effort you've put into serving the people in your group as well. Okay, so all you have to do is let me know if you want in. It begins this Friday, so you don't have a lot of time to sit and think about it. If you want to act fast, um, just get onto this. Let me know straight away and I will send you the link to join up. And I'll also have it in this post as well. Um, really looking forward to, and really excited about the people who have ever already jumped on board. We have them from all over the world. So it's going to be a really international uh, mastermind and it's going to be awesome. All right. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.